look at how to build a quick progress bar for each task in this table. And so what we're going to do is we have two columns over here and we're going to merge this because this is going to be one section here. So I'm going to make this narrower. And what we're going to put here and uh, maybe like 30 we'll start with is we're going to make a percentage. And so what we're going to need here is a count if and we're going to count how many of these are true. And then we're going to divide that by four because that's how many we have here. And so you can divide this by however many phases, however many things you have going on there. And then we're going to format as a percentage and we'll get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and uh, drag this down. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and make sure this is centered here just like that. And then what we're going to do is add our progress bar right here. We're going to use spark line and instead of just picking multiple cells, we need to build something because basically we have 50% here and then we want to know. So put comma here and we want to know one minus 50%. How much left do we have? And then we can do over here. We're going to do the rest of our spark line as we pop this open here. This is what our options look like. So we can do our chart type right here and hit enter. And so you can see we already have it most of the way here. So all we really have to do at this point is if we want to add custom colors. And so let's just drag this down for the moment. You can see how that's filled in. So we could change this second one to white or whatever it is. And so for that, we can look real quick under the more options and we're going to scroll down to bar. And under bar, you can see the different options here. So we can set color one and color two. So let's go ahead and do that. So for each option here, we do a semicolon to concatenate more than one. So this is basically one option. Chart type is bar. And now we want to set color one is something else. And so you separate by commas to do that. And so here, let's leave it blank for now. Um, we can actually type in green, but I'm probably going to pick. I guess that one's not bad. And then let's try this. Color two, we could do as maybe white. Try something like that. So you could do that if you want something clean and simple. And then as soon as you show something in that cell, it'll go ahead and populate. So that's one way to do it. Another way you could do this is maybe a light gray. So I don't know if gray is going to be light enough here kind of dark, so we could pick a color. So maybe something like this. Um, and we'll grab that color. I'm going to reset this to white and then I can put a RGB color just like that. And so you can see it's just a very light background there. So it's up to you if you want to kind of see the outline of where it is just like that. All right, so finally, let's do it overall progress. And so it looks like we got Something going on here. You can see there's a little bit of an indent as I am picky. So what I'm going to do is do a white border on the bottom all the way across just like that. All right, so let's make a overall percentage. And so let's do something like this. So count if I'm going to select the whole thing where it's true and then divide by count. Uh, maybe just count a and count a will determine how many values we have. So we have 15% and change percent. And what was this? Change that font, go a little smaller and center line that. And then I'm just going to actually copy this and paste it right here. Just like that. And then as we check more, you can see that overall progress is going up as well. All right. And finally, if you ever need to, like, let's say this is a daily progress bar. If you need to uncheck multiple, maybe you had several different ones. Maybe this was a daily to do list something like that. You can select the whole thing, hit space bar and it checks all of them. Space bar again and it resets. So if you want to reset this every day or every week, you can just select the whole thing where there's check boxes and use the space bar to toggle checked and unchecked. So that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.